Welcome back to another video. This is the fourth in a series of videos I like to call Sushi Cooking Ideas, where I give you ideas that you can apply to your sushi to make it more interesting and more innovative and more extraordinary than everybody else's. Now, this idea is all about using a dehydrator to create some vegetable sheets that you can use in sushi in lots of different ways. I'm just gonna show one example of what you can do with it, but it's not limited to that. Here we go, let's go. Okay, start off with a daikon radish and chop it up. Once you've chopped it up, then you want to add it to a boiling pot of water and you want to cook it until tender. Now this will take about 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the chop and the temperature of the water. Just cook it until it's very, very, very soft. Once you've got to that stage, then you want to transfer the daikon into a container so you can blend it. Here I'm going to use a hand immersion blender just to get a very smooth and silky puree. So just keep blending it until you get to that consistency. Once you feel you add the consistency, then you can add your ingredient. For example, in this case, I'm gonna use some chopped red cabbage to get a beautiful purple color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of it at a time and then blend it through and then look at it and decide whether to add some more or not. Now the color is completely up to you whether you want more strong and pronounced purple or less. This is what I'm looking for right here, a nice smooth puree with a beautiful purple color. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna spread it out over a sheet, this sheet, a very special non-stick sheet designed for the dehydrator. I'll link it in the description below so you guys can find the same one. And here I'm just gonna spread the puree across nice and evenly. And then I'm gonna use a spatula to spread it out more evenly to about four to five millimeters thickness. Now you really wanna take your time with this and spread it out nice and gently and evenly until it covers the entire sheet, just like this. And once you feel you've got the right consistency and spread, then you can transfer this over to your dehydration rack, just like this. Okay, now you wanna put this inside your dehydrator. What I've got here is an Excalibur dehydrator, but you can use any other dehydrator. I'll link this in the description so you can find the same one. I'm just gonna close it and set it to 52 degrees Celsius. That's 125 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna let it go for a couple hours until it's completely dried out the sheet. This is quite a few hours later and it's completely dry. And now I'm just gonna separate the sheet gently from the non-stick sheet. So you just wanna take the edges and just slightly peel them off. It's easy to just peel away the non-stick sheet than to try to pull off the vegetable sheet. Okay, so here now I've got most of the corners off. I'm just gonna slowly pull it up and try to separate the entire sheet. Now it has ripped on the side there, I'm just gonna pull this up. And now we've got this beautiful, super thin sheet of daikon radish with red cabbage that makes a beautiful purple hue. Okay, now to cut your sheet. Just place it shiny side down on a cutting board and then take half sheet of nori as a tracing tool. Just lay it on top like this and then just take your knife and cut around the outside perimeter just like this. Now I'm using half sheet of nori because that's just the perfect size to place on top of a sushi roll. Okay, one more cut here. Okay, great. Now you just want to separate it away from the sheet so you can have your usable sheet. Just tear it apart very, very gently, making sure not to rip the sheet. Now be very gentle because this sheet is very thin and can rip apart very easily. Okay, great. Now I'm just gonna do one more cut here just to make this side a little bit more neat. All right, awesome. And now you've got this beautiful purple sheet that you can use to place on top of sushi rolls. Sushi rolls like this one. I'm just gonna take the sheet and there's two sides to it. There's a rough side and there's a shiny side. Now it doesn't matter which way down you put it, but I'm just gonna put it down shiny side first and with the rough side up. Okay, so now to firm it up, you just press it down with a rolling mat just to make sure it glues on and then you cut it like you usually would. So just cut it in half, just like this and then cut the halves into quarters, just like so. And then you wanna cut the quarters into eighths. Now you be very gentle with this because these sheets are much thinner than nori and they can tear much easier. Okay, so now that I've cut it, I'm just gonna firm it up just in case anything moved during the cutting. And then voila, we've got this 
beautiful sushi roll, simple salmon sushi roll with this beautiful purple pink outside skin. Now you can make it in different varieties. For example, here's the one we made and here's the same just with a bit more red cabbage and here's the same with a lot more red cabbage. And you can also make loads of different varieties. You can make it with daikon and other vegetables or you can make it with just vegetables. Just go crazy, experiment and make loads of different types of colors, tastes and just much more awesome looking sushi. Okay, so there we go. Now you've got this great idea that you can apply to your sushi and make it a bit more interesting. Now, uh, you don't have to just apply it in the way that I used it. You could also still use the sheets to replace nori, for example. If you made the sheets a little bit thicker so they wouldn't rip as easily, then you could use it to roll sushi rolls with, which opens the door to limitless possibilities. Now, I'd love to know how you would use these sheets to make your sushi more interesting or other food dishes. Please comment below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Goodbye.